Hello guys and welcome back to the crazy Minecraft video where today I've gone ahead and moved into our nearest village. I have my wonderful farm right here that I go ahead and get my fresh fruits every single day which is actually super cool. I love living near a village purely because it makes everything so much easier and I've gone ahead and moved into this house right here. No one lived here and it looks super nice but it could do with a little bit of furniture. But something very strange happened last night. Last night there was a giant earthquake, but apparently this house right there wasn't here. So the earthquake seems to have gone ahead and expanded this house and brought it up from the caves underneath. So we need to go and figure out exactly what's going on. But apparently, according to these villagers, this house wasn't even there yesterday. Am I right? See, I told you. They're going ahead and telling me that this house pretty much appeared out of nowhere. So, I can tell you that this is true purely because it's gone ahead and demolished part of this house, which is absolutely awful. Okay, do you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this house because I don't think it should be there whatsoever. Well guys, let's travel to the top and let's find out exactly who lives there and why the house appeared. But, it's going to take us a very long time to get to the top. Are you traveling as fast as we can? And it seems like the more we travel up, the higher it gets. Gosh, this is well too high. Imagine falling from here, it's like an instant death. Okay, let's do this. Gosh, we can't even see far away. This is actually super scary. Villagers, continue your normal day. I'm gonna go ahead and figure out exactly what's going on. Okay, let's see what's inside this house. So we have a chest, a crafting table, and wait, do you guys hear that? I think there's another earthquake happening. Okay, let's go and pick up this chest because whatever's going on, this is the only thing we can keep. Let's try and get down from here and hopefully we should be okay. Gosh, I've never been in an earthquake in a house so high before. Quickly, the lower we get, the better. Hopefully this house doesn't get too destroyed in the earthquake. Everyone, back away from the house. It's gonna blow up. Gosh, okay, let's go and put this chest down and hopefully we should all be okay. I'm gonna put it right here and perfect and wait. I, I think it's happening. I think something is going ahead and demolishing the building. Look, it's falling to pieces. And wait, the earthquake is happening right underneath. Okay, we've got to pick up this chest and head out of here. Villagers, run for your lives. The whole house is falling to pieces and everyone down below is going to get hit by blocks. Look, it's demolishing everything. Okay, guys, I'm going to head out because this whole place is just falling to bits and I don't want to be around here when everything falls down and everyone gets super hurt. Okay, let's do this. Let's give it a couple minutes and wait to see what happens. Well, it's been a couple minutes, so let's go and find out what the damage looks like. The top part of the building completely fell down in the earthquake, and I think it's fallen through to the other side. Yep, it definitely did. Look, right on this side, every single one of the blocks that pretty much could have kept this building up has gone ahead, fallen down, and created such a big damage. And here's the earthquakes. I think the earthquakes have pretty much gone all the way down to bedrock, and it's awful. Look, we've got two giant craters, one on this side, and then I think there's another plate just around this side. Look, it's gone all the way through the forest. Well, it's such a shame, but I think it's really dangerous if we stay here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take that chest and find out exactly what's going on because we've got to get out of here. Well, let's go and pick up that chest, travel to a different village where I know it'll be safe, and hopefully we should be able to find out exactly what's going on. Well, guys, let's do this. Let's go ahead, take this chest, and let's get out of here. Well, here we go. So guys, I'll see you on the nearest village. Whatever's going on inside this one, I don't want to be part of it anymore. Well, I decided instead of taking this chest to another village and destroying the whole place, let's go ahead and take out all these spawners right here and we can figure out exactly what they do. I'm so glad we've chosen to do this. Well, let's go and spawn the first one, which is the nature villager. These are some sort of weird spawners that have appeared after the earthquake. You guys ready? Let's do this. I'm going to spawn it right here. Okay. It seems like he's got loads of nature around him, like leaves and everything. And he's gone ahead and poisoned me. No. Okay, maybe we should get some sort of diamond and some sort of diamond swords or something to go ahead and kill all of these evil villagers. Let me go and get that real quick. Let's see who would win this fight now, especially having full diamond. 
Okay, here we go. Die nature one die. <laughs> this is gonna be crazy. And it seems like he loves to use his poisonous effect, which makes everything so much harder. And wait, he's gone ahead and spawned evil trees. This is not good. Let's go and try to kill this villager because if it's not gonna work out, I just wanna make sure at least we could have killed maybe a few trees and hopefully saved the whole village. Okay, where are these guys? Have they teleported away or something? Oh, I think they're around here. Okay, I think I see them. So let's go and kill as many as we can. And hopefully, once we've done that, we can spawn the next one. Where is he? Where's the villager? I need to go and destroy this villager. Oh, he's right behind me. He must have blended in with all of the madness around us. Perfect. There we go. And awesome. No! <laughs> he spawned more trees. I hate this so much. Okay, I think he's always right behind us. Right around there. Now, from nature, what could be the worst thing? Maybe a fire one. There we go. Hopefully this will go ahead and change everything for us. Die, fire one, die! <laughs> Hopefully he won't spawn a fire tornado and destroy this whole place. Wait, he spawned fire bats. I've never seen any fire bats here ever before, which makes everything so much harder. Thankfully, we've got enough strength, and I don't think they have enough power to go and kill every single one of us. So thankfully, I do see them fighting right now, which makes everything so much easier for us because we don't have to kill them all. There we go. I'm perfect. Wait, are they trying to crash my world? Why is it lagging so much? I think they're trying to go ahead and destroy my whole world, which is absolutely awful. Do you know what? I'm going to go and spawn a water one just to go ahead and get rid of all of this fire. It's probably our only choice. Here we go. Get ready. <laughs> this is mental. I can't even kill these little trees. I have no idea exactly what they do. Perfect and good. I definitely know spawning the water one and also the fire was a great decision. Whoa, this one goes and spawns loads of water around us. So it pretty much makes it a lot harder to go and kill him. Wait, it's a giant squid. <laughs> this is so cool. I never knew it would go ahead and spawn a giant squid just like that. And wait a second, what happens here? Okay, I don't remember spawning a TNT one, but this is definitely going to be a crazy day. Well, let me go and find out if we can kill this giant squid. Here we go. I'm perfect. Gosh, I think he's right inside. Come on. This is going to be crazy. So he's made it so much harder to go ahead and kill him. And he's even spawned loads of water zombies. Okay, let's try and go inside the middle. Nope, we pretty much can't. Ah, yes. Perfect. We've done it. Okay, here we go. So it seems like the squid was some sort of weird alien one, which makes everything so much weirder for us. Okay, let's go and do this. I'm perfect. Gosh, I think we need to go ahead and kill this zombie. It's our only choice. No! He's spawning loads of more water above us as well. And there it goes. It's trying to create another squid monster. Perfect. There we go. Why can't we kill these zombies? Maybe we need to go ahead and spawn something more dangerous. Okay, let's try and get out of here. Do you know what? I'm going to go and try and spawn another one right around here, but hopefully away from all of this madness. Perfect. There we go. And awesome. I just need to kill a few more of these guys and everything should be a lot better. No, they're going to kill me. <laughs> this is not good. No, stay back. Huh, this is mental. Well, I'm going to die one more time because we only have half a heart. Okay, let's keep on trying. I'm going to go and spawn another one, which I'm going to do is the ice one. Let's go see what this guy does. I'm going to start attacking him straight away even before he touches me because I know exactly what he's trying to do. He's trying to go ahead and freeze me, pretty much get me never to attack him ever again. And he spawned some sort of weird snow follicles everywhere. Okay, I need to figure out exactly what's going on. He's given us frostbite 3 for only a few seconds, which is still pretty good for us. Let's go and destroy this. I'm perfect. And now we should be able to go ahead and kill this guy. Now, come on. <laughs> I'm perfect. Down here we go. And good. Let's try and kill him. Ah, oh, this is making everything so much harder. But I'm kind of hoping we should be able to kill him if we knock back all of his attacks and get him to die instead of us. Ah, oh, this is awful. Well, I'm so glad slowly by slowly we're getting a lot closer. But I'm hoping if we go ahead and spawn a lightning one, this would be a lot better. So guys, let's do this. Let's hopefully spawn a lightning one and hopefully they should go and fight together. Perfect. There we go. And awesome. Cool. Now I'm hoping the ice one should go ahead and get hit by all this lightning. Wait, I think we killed him. That's the first one we've killed all night. Okay, let's keep on going. That is giving me hope that we should be able to destroy this guy as well. No, <laughs> there we go, we've died. Okay, let me go ahead and spawn the dark one. Cool. Wait, he's changed it all into nighttime. 
Okay, this is not good for us. Thankfully, we have complete night vision, which makes everything so much easier. But it's still not no good news for us. No! What's going on? Oh, I think we killed him! Okay, it seems like he's not happy whatsoever, and he's gone ahead and spawned some sort of bedrock shard, which makes everything so much weirder around here. Perfect, I think we've done it. Well, let's try and get out of here before the normal creatures try to destroy us. And I'm going to try and go ahead and spawn the light one. Hopefully, he'll go ahead and change everything into daytime. <laughs> yes, perfect. Okay, here we go. And awesome. And let's try and kill them. Ah, this is awful. Yes, we've killed another one. That is so cool. Well, I'm so glad slowly by slowly we're getting used to this. And we are able to kill so many of these dangerous monsters. Well, we've only got two more. We've got the earth one and also the air. Hopefully, they'll go ahead and fight against each other. And we should be able to sort ourselves out. Here we go. I'm perfect. Let's do this. Now, I'm assuming there's going to be some sort of air bending and some sort of earth bending. Which makes everything so much harder. Perfect and good. Wait. Has he gone ahead and trapped us inside our own cage? Okay. I think we've done it. But I'm not sure exactly what we've done. So, I'm going to go ahead and try and get out of here. Come on. This is some sort of stone prison we have to get out of. Let's have a quick look. Now, he's either taking us very high in the sky, or he's just dug us underground. So, let's go find out exactly what he's done to us. Oh, here we go. Oh, is that it? He's gone ahead and trapped us in some sort of stone orb, which is very unusual to happen from a earth one, which is very strange. Ah, we're still stuck inside. And perfect. Well, I'm so glad to be out of that thing. I'm so happy. But where is the last one? I just want to go and destroy it, and hopefully we should be okay. Here we go. No! <laughs> They've created some sort of evil storm. Okay, let's try and kill this guy, and hopefully he should be the last one. Look, it's some sort of earth storm, and it's dragging us towards it. I'm trying to stay back, but it's making it very difficult to go and survive this. Here we go. Let's go and try and kill him. Come on, and perfect. Oh, he's making it so much harder to kill him, especially when he's got a tornado around him. We've done it! I think we've killed him. That is awesome. Well, guys, I'm so happy we've gone ahead and pretty much saved the village from getting destroyed by accidentally spawning all of these spawners. We've definitely done a very good job. Well, guys, I wish you with a crazy Minecraft video. And don't forget to like this video. Subscribe down below the button is red. And don't forget to press the notifications bell. So, guys, I'll see you all soon. Peace out.